told myself I wanted to run a marathon. I said I wanted to run a marathon. My white friend told me that they'll help me prepare for running a marathon. Worst decision I ever made by preparing. Five things to know before asking your white friend to help you prepare for a marathon. Five. Number one, white people prepare to run marathons by running marathons. Now, anything you do in your life, it shouldn't be this damn difficult. It shouldn't be this damn hard. If I want to go learn to lift weights, I start off light. I start off slow. I don't go in there and throw 315 pounds on the bar and call myself lifting weights. If I want to learn how to karate fight, the first person I fight ain't going to be Bruce Lee or Chuck Norris. I'm going to fight my older neighbor down the street to get some practice in. I told my white friend I want to run a marathon. They said, Josh, meet me at this spot at 7.30 a.m. We run Ran. He ran four miles. I ran about 14 feet and got upset and drove to where he wanted me to go to. White folks will have you running city to city to prepare you to get prepared to run the 5K that you think you want to run. Number two, white people take just do it to the extreme. You ever had a question for somebody like, how do I do this? And they were like, you just got to do it. Or how can I achieve that goal? To achieve that goal, you just got to start achieving. When white people tell you to just do it, I'm, I am absolutely positive. Somebody Caucasian invented the slogan, just do it for Nike. Because when I told him, how can I learn how to run this 5K? Because I don't want to come in last place. He say, just don't come in last place. I said, but how do I prepare and practice for not coming in last place? Josh, you just can't come in last place. If you come in last place, that means you a loser. Do you want to be a loser. I don't want to be no loser, Douglas. His name wasn't even Douglas. It was probably Dan. But damn it, he Douglas today. Douglas told me, if I want to be a loser, I'm going to come in last. If I don't want to be a loser, don't come in last. He ain't give me no advice. He ain't give me no nothing. He just told me to just do it. Number three, white people will buy some thousand dollar running shoes like they Jordans. My entire life, having money is going to buy a $500 Gucci belt, going to buy some four, five, six hundred dollars Jordans. We think that's having money. Hell no. Nah. The next time you see Dan standing around with some shoes that you can't pronounce, it just got like a line on the side of them. Ask him if they running shoes. I went into a running shoe store because Douglas told me, that ain't even his name, but Douglas told me, Josh, you need some good running shoes. Go to this store. I walked into the store. I ain't going to even say the damn store name. I walked into the store and the store had a track in. I'm like, I'm in a place to be. I asked for the most cheapest pair of shoes. Two $180 for some running shoes? I better be able to run errands, run mine. I better be able to run through your mind all damn night. I better be able to run E.T. home. E.T. ain't got to sit in the basket. E.T., don't worry about it. We can run on wind, rain, and air drops with these, E.T. These, them $280 running shoes that Douglas told me to go buy like they were Michael Jordan's. Number four, before you train for a 5K or a marathon with your white friends, be sure you are extremely secure with your body. I pride myself on the stuff I wear when I'm working out, when I'm going places, when I'm doing anything that takes any kind of effort if you're not prepared to have on some four inch windbreaker bike shorts with very little draws under them don't go running you cannot run in full clothes in a jogging suit in a sweatsuit in a sweater rocky them make that shit look cool in the movies you will die outside if you out there preparing to run a 5k and you go out there in a full cotton sweat nike suit with a headband on it look cool on nelly with a band-aid but you're gonna really need some first aid if you get your ass out there in that hot sun and number five if you say you want to do it they're gonna sign you up for every 5k in the world I thought Saskatchewan was its own country in Europe somewhere. I did not know they had marathons in Alaska and Texas and Greenland and Iceland. And I thought that Russia wasn't allowed to be visited right now. Damn it. If you tell your white friends you want to run a marathon, they're going to find one. If it's raining outside, wear a raincoat. If it's windy, wear some bricks on your feet to keep you down. If it's too dark, wear light. If it's too light, be darker. I'm black. Can't get no darker. White people is going to find an opportunity for you to run. And they're going to put you in some peculiar ass situations. Remember the movie Boys in the Hood? When Ricky was running down that alley, they got a they got a thing that you can run down that same alley as Ricky. And somebody said, Ricky, I'm signed up for one of those in California real soon. Y'all pray for me, man.